here I've just created an order. You can see I have the order number. I just created it uh, just in a few minutes ago. And I just want to track this order. So I need to copy this number here. I need to open a new page and I need to paste the number here. From there, I enter the email address here. Let me scroll and find my email address here. And I track the order. Let me scroll and see the result. Yeah, you can see the order was placed on this day and country is processing. You can see the order status here. So let's get back to the admin panel. Here we are. And let's see the order. Here we have the order is number 316. You can see it was placed 11 minutes ago. Let's open the order. Whenever I just open the order, you can see the status here. Here are the status, but you can see they are very minimal. And I have just created a demo here to just demonstrate on what you're going to, to learn today. Here is just the other status that I'm going to show you how to add them. Because on this tutorial, on this other demo website, I have pending for payment. And we have a waiting for shipment. And we have parking and out for delivery status. When you just compare to this one, that's just very minimal. But when I just say uh, it is just it's on hold and I just update, I come back here and I refresh the page here. Let me resend the data again. You can see it just changed to on hold. Let's think of how we can add these other status like out for delivery, on hold, completed, uh, not completed, parking, and many other and many other you can think of. Hello creative designers, welcome, welcome onto the onto this tutorial. We're just going to learn how to add this custom order status using a very simple uh, code you're going to type. Don't worry when you just hear I say when you just hear I have said the use of code. I'm just going to provide the code. Yeah, I'll show you where you can even get the code. With the status we're going to add in this tutorial are about maybe a waiting for shipment, uh, out for delivery, or on transit, or on delivery, whatever you want to add. I'm just going to show you how. I'll provide the link where you can get the code. Remember to hit the subscribe button to this YouTube channel because you concentrate much on WordPress related tutorials. If you don't hit the subscribe and you're new here, I'll go send my grandpa to come and wait to your bed. Sorry for that. <laughs> just joking. So, without further ado, let's just get into today's tutorial, and I'm just going to show you how to add this. Maybe like how waiting for shipment, out for delivery, or on transit or parking. I'm just going to show you how you can add all them. And in the end of this tutorial, we are going to even test each and every status that we will add. So, what we need to do, we need to get to the dashboard. Uh, let me get to the, my dashboard here and scroll to have the plugin on the dashboard menu. Scroll to how you have the plugin. On Hofa, so we have the three options. Select the second option because you're going to install a plugin that will help us implement the code. So the plugin is called Code Snippet. Uh, here we have it. It's called Code Snippet. Right from Code Snippet Pro. And you can see it has more than 400,000 active installation. You can see it has 4.5 latent out of 260 people are taking time to let the, uh, the plugin. Yeah, that's a good result. You can see the team behind the plugin are very active. One one month ago, they just did updated uh, this plugin. So the first thing we need to do, we install the plugin. After successful installation, we activate the plugin. When I just uh, when I just activate the plugin, you can see you can add the snippet from here. But I don't want to use this one. I just want to go back to the dashboard menu. Scroll to where you have now this new button for snippet on how far you see it. We have uh, these options here. I'm not going to import uh, if you just want to see all the snippet that you have just added to your website. You can just click on the snippet and you can add new. Or else you can hop on it and select add new. So either way, you're just going to arrive to this page. So we need a PHP code. So I already have it. So let me have it here. Yeah. So here you have it. I have already written it to my notepad, don't worry about it. I'm just going to provide it 
a link on where you can get this uh, this code so i need to copy all this code here i just copy and i paste one i just paste there are a few options that we have just added the first one is a waiting for shipment and the other one is parking you have the parking option here yeah so the other thing after you have just pasted the code all you need to do is click save changes after you just save changes you need to activate the code here you have the button for activating after it just say uh, after you have activated you see now you can even have the at the point uh, the button to deactivate the uh, the code so let's uh, let's get back let's just view what we have just added remember we had very few options let's see we go to woocommerce and we go to order here we are and uh, let me open an order here this one order that we're going to use in this tutorial so once on click you see now we have a waiting for shipment and we have for parking yeah even when i just uh select our, our waiting shipment and i update i come here and select the order here and i refresh here let me reset the data again you see it even it is updating and showing that the package is awaiting for shipment let's think of the way we can just add a more option like we change these uh uh we didn't uh, we add something like on transit delivered and we have something like i just show you to how to add those two and you can take it as uh, the same the same procedure and apply to add as many options it depends on how you how many options you just uh how many status you just want to add to your website so what we need to do we need to get back the snippet and uh, you can see we have now repeat register post status here for each new status what you need to do what that means is that we just copy from here and we scroll to here i'll highlight all that and i just copy here come here add a new line here paste your code here and let me just try to make it look like it's on the same line here yeah if you decide to save it from here the way it is like that and you decide to save here you come to order here you'll have parking uh, you see we had the first parking and now we have added the second parking so i uh, not showing the two parking let me refresh again let me just go back to orders and i select this order here and let me see we have the first parking ah you see we have a waiting shipment too uh twice here not a waiting shipment we have parking yeah it just reflected once but let me show you how we can change it now uh, all right so the first one was a uh, waiting for shipment the one the other one is uh, parking so now we need to come here and edit here the function here so we need to oh we never saved we only did and uh, we never saved the snippet so we just come here and say uh, wc remove this word parking here and say on transit on remember to put hyphen or hyphen minus I really wanted to mention the on transit like that on transit uh, come here and say variable will be on transit let me delete this button here and I say on transit like that and we're not going to change anything there we go to label count here and remove this word parking here say on transit like that and remove this other word here parking say on transit 
like that. From there, now you need to come here and we add uh, this details here, the one we have just added there. So you copy this one and come here and add a new line, paste it. Let me copy here this line. I copy. And I paste it here. Let me remove this here. So we need to now to add these data we have just added here. So if we say WC on transit, we copy this one here, the first one. And we come and move this WC parking. We paste our WP on transit and we want the label to be on transit. So you come here and search, look for this word here on transit. Copy and add here on transit like that. After that, you need to save. Uh, let's deactivate the snippet and we activate the snippet. Uh, let's try to refresh our page here. Uh, let's click on status and you see now we have now on transit on click on it and when you update here and we go to the order here and we refresh here we reset the data you see it shows it is on transit yeah that how you can add maybe on transit let's try to add another new one let me uh Minimize that one and we come here again and we I add a new line. I click uh, Windows logo and V. And you see here I have, let me add a new line here. So the one we did copy it for the first time. We register and list it as here. So uh, it's new parking. Uh, WC we say delivered like that. The further label we let me remove this piece here. It is WC minus delivered and copy this delivered here. And I come and paste it here. And I come again and paste it here. And I paste it there, like that. So with just that few steps, we have now added for delivered. So we need now to come and register here as uh, our new processing key. So we add a new line. Let me copy this one here. I think I had it. Yeah, like that. Let me move like this. I just want it to be on the same line. So now we come here and see WC it's not parking. So we see a delivered here and we are delivered there like that. And from there, now we come and save the setting here. After that, we deactivate. And we act with the snippet like that. I don't have the cache plugin, so I need to deactivate and activate the plugin. So once I uh, have uh, the code, so once I refresh here, you come to status and see now we have delivered. So we have the status for delivered like that. And the other thing you can do is you can choose the action, you can invoice, uh, you can email the invoice and it to the customer, it all depends on how you just want it to be done. If you want that status to be given to the customer in, in form of email, you just click here, uh, order action, and you can, or you can send notification, uh, order, whatever the action that you need to do but the tutorial on was much on deal on how you can add this custom order status 
on to your e-commerce website or for free using that short code i'll include the link on where you can get this code uh offer free yeah the code will be on the description other link will be on the description where you can get this code yeah it is, seems so big to add it to the description uh to the description of the of this tutorial but I'll provide the link where you can just go and get it. You just copy, edit the way I've just shown you. Uh, edit the way I have just shown you, and with with this uh, PHP code, you'll be able to add a custom order status to your e-commerce website all for free. I think the tutorial is to the end here. So once I just come here and uh, I update the status, we have just updated. And we just come let me and we just come here and we refresh again we'll be able to see all those status we have added have reflected to the order and you can be even able to even send a notification to the customer without even installing a plugin we have done it all for free using a free php code which i provide the link on the description Remember to subscribe to this channel, hit the thumbs up to this YouTube tutorial if it was of great help to you. Thank you team and thank you everyone. Come back for more again.